Nigerian athletes are on fire, starting from Blessing Akagbari to Divine Oduduru, Sheye Ogunlewe, Toby Loba and Muson. Look, when Toby Loba, I, I was with Toby Loba at the Olympics in 2016, and she told me, look, the world is not ready yet. When they're ready, I'll come. And since 2016 till date, Toby Loba and Muson has been burning the track with the hurdles. Uh, at the moment, she has qualified. She has qualified for the Olympics. Let's go to Texas. Always a delight to have you on the show, Toby Loba. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good to have you on Sports okay. Tonight. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> awesome. That's the champ. Toby Loba, tell me, you ran the third fastest time in the 100 meters hurdles in 2019. Toby Loba, what's responsible for this current form? Um, you know, it's been extreme hard work, you know, and being prayerful and getting them um, to trust the process and, you know, just going on the track and putting in everything every time I have a competition. And pretty much, I think it's pretty much hard work. <laughs> Season's best, season's personal best of um 12.49 seconds. You did that in France. Uh, right after that, did you tell yourself that the next one will probably be just 12? Um, definitely, it's, it's been a consistent 12 um, seconds race, and, you know, I'm really thankful for that. Um, actually, after the race, I got really tired, like, exhausted. But, you know, the goal is just going to the next race and execute. You know, sometimes it's not about running fast, but execution really matters, and I think I've been doing that pretty good. So mm. it's been a bit. You became not only the third woman to break 12.50 over the high order so far this year, you are also the 38th, 3 8 fastest woman in the world for that event. And you're still young. You still have a lot. What should we be expecting from you for the remainder of the year? Um, you know, I, I tend to put everything in God's hand. You know, there's nothing I can decide on my own. And trust in my coach and my hard work. And I hope, I hope by God's grace, everything's going to work well. <laughs> What's the next event? Um, right now, I have Birmingham. But, you know, still yet to be confirmed. And if I don't get to go to Birmingham, then I have other smaller meets in Europe that I have to attend, yeah. And you've been so busy. Is that part of the reason why you're doing so well? Um, you know, I'm a full-time student athlete, and I'm also a full-time professional athlete. And, you know, it's both uh, really priorities. And I have to, like, step up on my head game and, you know, be on top of each, each courses and each competitions and I know I've been doing pretty good like balancing board and it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know tell me again and yeah the A game you you doing it blessing Okagbari is doing same divine Oduduru lighting up the states Shaye Ogulewe the other day gave us a good time should we start believing towards Tokyo 2020? Um honestly um with good um administration and enough financial funding, I think a lot of athletes will be ready for the championship because you don't expect an athlete to drink arena and go and run fast now best for you don't work like that. So <laughs> um I think uh, with proper funding and better preparation, yeah, trust me, Nigeria at least we are extremely ready. You know, it's been a long time we just get to semifinals and you know, this time, I think we're ready to make it to the finals and hopefully, you know, start grabbing them, those medals. And I think we're ready. So, Bilaba, uh, the African Games, tell me, what, are you looking forward to it also? Um, finger crossed. <laughs> I still don't know as yet. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on, you're breaking hearts already. What do you mean you don't know? Um, you know, we have like um certain issues going on right now and until that has been met, then I can decide if I'll be present for the World or all African games and you know, like I said, finger crossed. <laughs> what are the issues? You already know. <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm asking you. You on live T V. You already know, you know, money, 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 money. <laughs> you know. We have, you know, we need we need financial stuff. And, you know, we at least here in the States, we have been, you know, training extremely hard with our funds. And we felt like um, stuff needed to be provided for us, which we already, like, tabled the, the issue to the to the ministry. And we're still waiting on the return to get us a, a positive feedback. Mm. And if that feedback is positive, then live in Morocco. Mm. But if otherwise, <laughs> ah. you know. Gloria Alozie, she's a legend of athletics in Nigeria. I'm sure you know her. She holds the African record 
of 12.44 seconds. You gave us a personal best of 12.49. Do you have Gloria's record in sight? Do you want to break it badly? Um, um, my goal is, you know, to break every record um, I can possibly break. But, you know, the goal is, like I always say, going into competitions and executing. You can't go into competitions thinking about, oh, I want to break this, and then you end up messing a whole lot of stuff up. And, you know, I have it in my bucket list, but for sure if I break it, which I know very close, very close now. <laughs> so, that's, why, that's why you <laughs> listen to the voice, Toby Loba. That's why you should be Rabat Morocco. Maybe you might just do it there. I can do it anywhere. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's talk about the world championships also. Nigeria, we need medals like never before from that competition. This one will be in Doha. You look forward to that one also? Um, definitely. I raced earlier this year and you know it's a it's a great facility and the track is awesome. And I know with the with the proper pre preparation, like I always say, we we are gonna shock the world. We are ready, trust me. <laughs> we are ready. So, Toby, each time I, I get a chance to speak to you guys that are based abroad, I, I ask Divine or Duduru the same question. Let me throw it to you. What is it that they do? What is it about the entire sporting environment that brings the result? What is it that they do over there that we can start doing in Nigeria? Um, it's a whole lot. But I'll start with the with the kind of environment we find ourselves in. We work with great athletes. We work with great coaches. We have the master. We have the physio. Like literally, we have everything at this at hard disposal. And you know, it's really hard for us to finish practice and then we complain about being fatigued when the high stuff is there. There's someone ready to give you a massage. You know, all those little things that actually matters that it's that has not been like a priority in Nigeria. You know, you finish a track competition and you just go home like that. There's no physio inside. There's no masseur, you know. It's just a whole lot of things. And the most important one, I must say, is being around positive people. Because mm. regardless of how good or how bad I do at competitions, I always have this I always have this mindset of ready to come back to practice, knowing that I have people to push me and my coach to tell me, hey, don't, don't give up. You're the best. You know, just go out there and continue doing what you do and trust me you're gonna be the best and you know it's 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 more like a motivation looking forward to wake up every day and you know train with positive mindset people and i think i think it's 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 just being positive that mm. is one of the biggest factors i must say no you taught me something <laughs> tonight toby thank you so much uh for your time on the show the next time i'll be speaking to you i tell you you have that record that you want thank you so much Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye.